Uh, Stephanie, first off, for people who have not yet received the invite, what exactly is Clubhouse? How does it work? So Clubhouse is an invite only, uh, audio only chat app. So it's part podcast, part panel discussion, uh, part dinner party, part kind of whatever you want to make it. But the I think the the most attractive thing about it for people is that it is audio only. Uh, so how exactly does it work? So I, I will admit I'm on Clubhouse now. I basically I have a podcast where I basically begged to get an invitation, and one of my <laughs> listeners actually replied and said, "Here, you know, you, you're invited, etc." It is a little confusing. What do you think is the allure about Clubhouse? Well, number one, you don't have to get dressed up because you're just listening. <laughs> and number two, I think you you can drop in on any conversation and you don't have to participate, but you can participate. So you can drop in and just listen or you can actually raise your hand and speak. So it sort of gives you uh, the power to have your say, but also the power to kind of just hang back and listen to some great content at the same time. There have been some security concerns. Uh, recently, a user was able to record one of the conversations and then post it on, on a different website. Uh, how worrisome is that for Clubhouse? Just the you know the idea that that there could be hacks and security issues. Yeah, they're going to have to do a lot around privacy, especially because the idea that you have to provide your contact list, access to your contact list to invite anybody to the club and to get recommendations for who to follow and which clubs to join um, is a problem. There is also the fact that they store the chats unencrypted for a period of time to make sure that anybody that wanted to um, lodge a complaint or or say that someone was in the club to be abusive, they'd have to investigate that. So they're actually storing the chats themselves for a period of time. And then there's some issues around content moderation as well, lots of abuse on the platform still, and lots of misinformation too. Uh, very interesting. I did not know that they themselves recorded the conversations. Uh, Stephanie, great info there. Uh, you know, look, it seems like audio, it's it's ironic because audio has been around for so long, right? We've had phone calls uh, forever, pretty <laughs> right. much. Um, is this, though, the, the next big thing in social media? Because we have podcasting is so huge also. Do you think that that these types of live audio conversations are eventually going to replace podcasting? I don't think it's going to replace podcasting, but I think this live real time audio only chat model will gain popularity. Now, it remains to be seen if Clubhouse is going to be at the forefront of that rise uh, in this new form of social media because of all of these issues that they have. But uh, definitely audio real time live uh, chat, I think, is here to stay. So Facebook has said it it wants to do some type of clubhouse type feature. Twitter has has spaces. Of course, mm -hmm. clubhouse is clubhouse. Which do you think is going to which one are we going to be talking about a year from now? It'll be interesting. I think we'll be talking about Facebook's acquisition of Clubhouse uh, right now. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I feel it in my bones. I mean, you know, right now they're pretty insulated with all of the VC money they've been getting from Andreessen and some other folks in the Valley. But uh, WhatsApp didn't think they would be acquired either. And we saw what happened with that. So I feel like Facebook has a big enough wallet that eventually they are going to absorb this platform. That's just my and prediction. Then that's you know it's incredible because there has been there's something about clubhouse the uh, exclusivity and it just has this cool factor that does that go away if facebook buys it it totally go well it goes away once they scale face uh, clubhouse is actually still in beta right now so once it's available on android once it's no longer invite only once you know millions and billions of people are on the platform it's going to look like a very different platform than it does today so uh it remains to be seen if all of the cool kids stay on the platform once everybody else has access to it and once it gets gobbled up by a larger company um, it'll look a lot different then as well.
Clubhouse by Facebook. I just don't know if it has the same <laughs> ring to it. Wow. It doesn't. Um, the, other, uh, the other question that I have, though, you know, will the cool kids or will anybody even want to be on it once this pandemic is over, right? Because we're all home now. So, so the idea of spending two hours just kind of listening to conversations seems wonderful. It's a way to connect with other people. But once we're allowed back outside at real life happy hours, et cetera, uh, do you think that Clubhouse has a life at that point? That's a big consideration, too. Right now, I've heard of Clubhouse rooms going for seven or eight hours. There is a room right now where they're raising money for Texas that's been going on for 24 hours straight. So no one's going to have time to do that sort of thing once we sort of get back to whatever normal looks like. Uh, Clubhouse is going to have to figure out a monetization strategy for their creators really, really quickly because that's what's going to get people to stay on the platform. Mark Cuban's already working on something similar. Uh, with a platform called Fireside, but the monetization strategy is already built in for the creators. So if people aren't going to be able to make any money off of this thing, they're going to abandon it pretty quickly. Um, do you, does that mean we'll see ads or do you think it's going to be kind of native advertising? What do you think monetization looks like on Clubhouse? It's going to be interesting. I, it, they, they are talking right now about introducing tipping features for certain creators so the listeners can, can pay them directly um, and things like that. But it'll be interesting how they incorporate that. I think ads are going to be a big part of it, um, but uh, they're going to have to get really creative with that strategy. All right. We shall see. Uh, Stephanie, I'll see you on Clubhouse, okay? <laughs> see you on Clubhouse, definitely. <laughs> Technology and lifestyle expert Stephanie Humphrey, great to have you on.